Hi guys, good morning. Uh, this is weird lighting, I know, but it's because it's snowing outside and it's like bright AF out there. Okay, snowing, Minnesota. Let's all like gasp real quick. Okay, we got it over with. The snow comes and it goes like in October, November, it like comes, melts, and then it like comes down again, melts. This week is like a little bit bizarre though because we're getting like three to six inches today or like three to five inches today. And then we're getting like six inches on Thursday, I think. But anyways, all right. So let's talk about routines and all of the chaos that has been going on in our lives. As you guys can see, I have not been sleeping very well. Um, so my best friend got married this weekend and that's why I was a little bit MIA, like on my social medias. Ooh, okay, everybody stands around the tripod. What's going on? Anyway, um, I just have not been sleeping well. Um, I'm gonna try some like sleepy time tea tonight, maybe some like magnesium. Um, my schedule is gonna be kind of crazy here the next few days. I am finally being reunited with my family after all of the COVID chaos and all of the blah that's been going on. Um, we're celebrating Kaya's fifth birthday, finally. It's gonna be Halloween themed, so I need to get the house cleaned um, and I need to just like get my life back in order. We're getting back to a routine this week because Kaya went back to preschool today. So I'm like, I'm just all over the place, I'm all over the board. Um, we gotta catch up on like Eminem rustic orders and I'm just, I feel very like out of sorts right now so I need to like reconfigure here. We're already on like Tuesday morning and I need to like bring it back down. <laughs> I need to like go through the schedule again for Eminem. I need to clean, I need to make a grocery list. I need to, I don't know if you guys do this, but like I redo my finances once a week just to make sure everything is in check and I just feel overwhelmed. I need to go and get Kaya though soon because like I said, I've been editing for about seven hours. It's like 3.30 right now and the snow is not letting up. So I need to go and pick up Kaya and then I need to do some chores around the house. I need to like, I need to straighten up. It's just a mess in here. So anyway, okay, I've been chatting at you guys for like over five minutes now and I just word vomited a whole lot of stuff at you. So I hope you're able to like keep up with that, but Anyways, all right. Let's uh let's go get some some sh some she is done. <laughs>
going to call this a motivational mom video, mom motivation video, because this is all of the things, these are, the things I'm doing are just like, most of them are just typical things that every single mom does every single day, and maybe you just need a little kick in your butt to say, hey, you can push through the rest of the day, go get yourself some tea, some coffee, get up and take care of the rest of the things in the house that need to be taken care of. Like I said, I have been working all day, granted from home, but I'm working all day. And like, okay, so even when I was still like working for another company and not working for myself, I would, I would work from home, right? Okay, so, my house would be a complete disaster. I'd have both of the kids home with me and it would just be a complete disaster. Like goldfish and animal crackers in the carpet because I didn't have time to chase them down and tell them not to eat in the living room because I'm on a Zoom call. Or, you know, they're just like, what, I'm busy doing something and like, you know, writing up an email or, like now editing um, and the kids are playing in the living room nicely and you think they're playing nicely and then you go in there and you're like oh my gosh how did you get like sour cream in the carpet like all of the things so here here's my motivation for you guys to push through the chaos and to still end your day on a good note because I know a lot of you watch these Sometime in like the mid morning, sometimes you guys watch these after work when you get home and you're settled. Here is your push to get through the rest of the day. Here's the thing, it's like my day, I have so many things left to do. I and, and, and a lot of them are fun things or things I need to do before I can do the fun things. So and that's okay, right? So I just got done cleaning, I sucked it up for about an hour. Clean up the house a little bit so that things were back in order. Um, they, I mean, they were like chaotic. And I have a lot of cleaning videos coming for you guys this week because I have guests coming, like I said, so I need to like sit down and I need to organize the basement and get through that. And I need to organize the kids' room and I need to do all of the laundry and there's a lot of things that need to be done over the course of the next three days. And tomorrow I'm taking the majority or like the larger portion of the day to go and scope out some Christmas decor and give you guys some Christmas decor ideas and do a little bit of a haul before the Christmas chaos ensues, right? So anyways, all of the things, here's your motivation for the day to get that done. Now for dinner tonight, I am making a white chicken chili, which is like one of my absolute favorites. And it's simple, it's easy, and I just need to defrost the chicken. I put it in the oven and I cook it for a little bit. I throw the rest of the stuff into a stock pot and boom, it's done. So very simple um, white chicken chili recipe is going to be for dinner tonight. And then I need to make a to-do list and take a peek at the rest of the things in my to-do list that need to be done absolutely need to be done by Friday. Whether that be M&M orders, whether that be videos, um, other like YouTube, so like some of my work related things. Um, I need to finish these wedding videos. I need to get the house in order, etc. So I'm going to show you guys in just a minute how I set that up um, as far as like my to-do list and my schedule so that I can give you guys some of the ideas. I am like one of those crazy, I love bullet journaling. I love like multicolored pens and things like that to keep me organized. So I will show you what I do here in a second, but while this chicken is defrosting and before it gets dark outside, I need to go and get high up. Yeah, I agree, buddy. We gotta go get your sister because it's snowing really crazy outside. I'm gonna show you guys really quick what it looks like outside. <laughs> that is what it looks like outside right now. And you can't see, like this is just the snow that's fallen down here. But up here, if I were to pull the blinds up more, you'd be able to see that there's a lot of snow coming down and I don't want to be on the road when all of that wet, sticky snow starts to harden and ice over. So I'm gonna go get Kaya. Then I'm gonna come back and I will touch base with you guys. Okay, so it's quite a bit later, which is why it is so dark in here. Um, and I like literally just have like my computer screen shutting on my face. But I got dinner done. Um, I just did my white chicken chili, so good. Um, did that for an easy dinner. And now I am sitting down to write out my to-do list for tomorrow so I can stay on track um, and also for Thursday and Friday. Tomorrow I've got lots going on. I am doing 
like I said, Christmas um, like shop with me videos to kind of show you guys what's out there. Um, and then I'm just gonna be doing that for like in the morning. So like 8 a.m. to noon, I'll be doing that or like until about one. And I need to go through my Christmas decorations and my goal is to sort through it. And I wrote this down, but my goal is to sort through it and to either donate um, or sell the things that I don't need anymore. Okay, sorry guys, I had to switch you because the lighting was so bad over here. So once I like sit down and I go through my to-do list, I'm like, okay, I need to do this and this. Otherwise, I literally will forget. Um, I'm also going to write down reminder. Some of the miscellaneous things that I need to take care of, I'm just gonna give myself a remind, like reminder at the top of my um at the top of my to-do list so here in the corner i'm gonna put like reminder so there's like a few things that i need to do this week um like i've got a few like random things that i need to do for instagram um so i will do that um because then whenever i have time to take care of those like random reminders up in the corner um that don't specifically need to be like like put on a certain day um you know like blocking out a large part of my day if they're just like something that'll take me a few minutes or like an hour um, I'll just kind of put it in I'll put it in that reminder section in the upper right hand corner so um, like I said I'm writing down a couple of things that I need to take care of for Instagram this week <sighs> okay so now that I've gone through um, and I wrote down my most important things and like for me Myron like my most important things like I said are like taking care of house stuff um, and like kind of thinking about what my videos are for the next like couple of weeks and like if I need to get certain footage um, and then if I have like anything that's due for a brand or then like going through and making sure like like again um, my work stuff is super different because like this is my work stuff right it's like my YouTube stuff um, which there's so much behind the scenes like I never anticipated how much like behind the scenes stuff there was for doing YouTube because you always need to be on top of your game with YouTube and I always want to make sure that I'm providing like useful quality content for you guys so anyway um, there's a lot of like back work and um, like working with my brands and things like that um, I need to email a lot a lot so um, that is something that I usually take care of right away in the morning. So that's part of my routine um, that I don't ever change is like going through my emails and getting back to m, &M Rustic customers um, and like getting kind of preschool. Like that part of my day never changes. Um, what changes is like the content that I'm going to be recording or if there's just things around the house that need to get done, etc. So um, for you guys, like when I was still working, um, as an accountant and I was like either like working from home, or I was working at the office, I would go through my to-do list because I was still doing YouTube, <laughs> like it blows my mind that I was doing YouTube and Eminem Rustics and I was working full time and still trying to be like a good mom. Like it just blows my mind, but I get you. I get it from all angles, it, whether you're working for yourself or somebody else, I totally get it. It is very stressful. So write yourself a to-do list. So write out the things that you need to take care of at the office tomorrow. Like, you know, when I was an accountant, I would say, okay, like my daily tasks taken care of and oh, by the way, I've got this project. Um, I should probably touch base with so-and-so on this. Like write out your to-do list and then go through your things for like your at home stuff as well. So, you know, does somebody have an appointment tomorrow? Do you need to, you know, get through the laundry? Cause you have guests coming over this weekend. Um, and you know, maybe you need to plan out like a crock pot meal for tomorrow so that you don't pick, uh, spend an hour like cooking or am I going to order DoorDash or, you know, what am I going to be doing? So write out your to-do list, write out your meal list make sure that you are well prepped on those fronts so that you don't feel so stressed and overwhelmed at the end of the day because you know what when you when dinner's not planned whether because Mike and I both take turns planning dinner and doing that but you know if neither of us have something planned or we don't have something that we have agreed to for dinner or for like what the weekend plan is going to be or like okay who's going to get this done and who's going to get that done if we don't figure that out ahead of time we are a hot mess so many things okay so there's so many things that you can do to take control of your life so instead of living in this constant hot mess state which like even when you do have it under control like just embrace the chaos but like instead of always like mentally your mental health that's so important 
if you are constantly in this like weird headspace of like, oh my gosh, I'm so busy all the time, I barely have time to think, you're not going to thrive in that environment. Your brain isn't going to thrive. So set yourself up with a good to-do list, schedule in a little breather, a, a little relaxation, but I find that this really helps me. I feel more accomplished and my mental health is so much better if I know that I'm accomplishing the things. I'm like, I'm very type A, but also I'm such a people person. I'm like Enneagram like six and seven, which is so confusing, but like I would up and plan like a week long trip to Bora Bora tomorrow, like last minute. But also I'm a planner and like I, I like routines and I like to plan things out. So I'm, a, it's yeah, just, just roll with me here. But I promise you that if you lay out your, your week and your things that you need to take care of, you will feel so much better as you cross those things off. Instead of just letting them float in your head, put them down on paper and hold yourself accountable for it. And even if it's, even if it's as simple as like having to, oh, touch base with so-and-so, text back husband. I don't care what it is that you keep forgetting to do and it's overwhelming you, write it down because it's gonna help you out. So, all right guys, that is gonna wrap it up for today's mommy motivation video and getting your poop in a group. You can get your little duckies in a row, if you will. Anyways, all right guys, I will see you in a couple of days for a Christmas decor video. Um, I'm going Christmas decor shopping tomorrow morning to show you guys what is out there right now, give you all of the ideas. So I'll see you on Friday for that video and Sunday for a get it all done with me where I organize out my Christmas decor bins. Okay, bye guys.